In this video, we'll analyze the military capabilities of both sides involved in the Israel-Palestine conflict, Hamas and the Israeli military. We'll discuss the following topics. Hamas military strength. Israeli military strength. Comparison of Hamas and Israeli military capabilities. Hamas was founded in 1987, an organization independent of the Palestinian National Authority, blending religion, political party, government, social movement, and military organization. Its primary goal is to break free from colonial shackles, repel invaders, and establish a genuine Islamic state in Palestine and occupied territories. Its military power comprises three branches, intelligence, responsible for gathering Israeli political, military, technological, and economic intelligence, as well as counter-espionage, law enforcement, tasked with prosecuting and capturing those violating Islamic teachings, and the Al-Qasam brigades, focused on establishing underground military organizations and conducting all military actions, including suicide bombings. On June 17, 2007, the Palestinian National Authority issued a presidential decree formally declaring the armed factions affiliated with Hamas as illegal armed groups. While most countries recognize Hamas as the Islamic resistance movement, Western nations and a few others, either aligned with or fearing the West, classify it as a terrorist organization. Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip is a narrow stretch of land approximately 10 kilometers wide and 41 kilometers long, covering 365 square kilometers, densely populated with around 2.3 million people. Hamas claims to have 20,000 regular troops, though according to Israeli intelligence, the number is approximately 15,000, with training levels comparable to regular armies. They lack the capability for large-scale war mobilization, facing severe shortages of funds, supplies, and weaponry, lacking the necessary resources for prolonged conflict. The Al-Qasam brigades aren't a military unit but a collective term for all combat squads slash groups. Originating from a death squad established by Salah Shahada and Ibrahim Makawi, named after the renowned Palestinian martyr Az Din Al-Qasam who fought against British rule in the 1930s. They typically employ rocket launchers and suicide bombings against Israel. Light weaponry includes mostly US-made 5.56mm M16 and Soviet 7.62mm AK-47, AKM assault rifles, along with homemade anti-tank grenades, rocket launchers, mines, and a few improved, Battar anti-tank missiles. Limited heavy weapons and large-caliber suppressive firepower are available, although assistance from outside sources after 2020 notably improved their arsenal, acquiring improvised rocket launchers and rockets, despite being outdated, posing a credible threat to Israel. Israel has long practiced a policy of universal conscription, where every citizen reaches a certain age and must undergo military service. Nearly all citizens, including women, have military experience. During wartime, everyone becomes a soldier, capable of taking up arms and fighting, fostering a unity between civilians and military with no distinction between them. Despite its small population, Israel boasts a substantial manpower, a standing army of 176,500 and a reserve force exceeding 600,000. Over the years, it has consistently acquired advanced weaponry from the United States and developed many world-class armaments domestically. It has maintained a technological edge over its neighboring countries for one or two generations and possesses formidable offensive capabilities backed by nuclear weapons. In the Middle East, Israel has firmly established its position and stands strong, even challenging formidable regional powers like Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and Iran. The Israeli Air Force exhibits robust offensive capabilities, equipped with over 400 advanced fourth- and fifth-generation fighter jets. This includes more than 260 F-16C divided by D aircraft, mostly upgraded Block 48-52 variants, featuring active electronically scanned array, ESA, radars and conformal fuel tanks, providing multi-target attack and long-range strike capabilities. The fleet is complemented by over 100 F-15C divided by D divided by I jets, more advanced than Japan's F-15J-DJ versions, with the F-15I closely resembling the US-used F-15E divided by F, also equipped with ESA radars and capable of carrying precision-guided munitions like GBU-12, JDAM, and JASSM for pinpoint strikes. Israel also operates over 25th-generation F-35I stealth fighter jets, the only nation in the Middle East equipped with stealth aircraft. 
these planes, modified from the U.S. F-35A model, according to Israeli Air Force specifications, possess potent ground attack capabilities, can be fitted with stealthy external fuel tanks for extended operational ranges, and have clandestinely crossed Syrian and Iraqi airspace, directly targeting Iranian nuclear facilities. Additionally, Israel has six Falcon and four G-550 item early warning aircraft and three KC-130 aerial refueling tankers. One noteworthy event is the Battle of the Bukha Valley on June 9, 1982, where the Israeli Air Force executed a meticulous plan. Backed by optical and electronic surveillance drones, early warning aircraft, and electronic warfare aircraft, they successfully ambushed Syrian ground-based air defense units in Lebanon's Bukha Valley. In just six minutes, they obliterated 19 SAM missile batteries developed over 10 years at a cost of $2 billion by Syria and the former Soviet Union. This heralded the first drone-involved air defense suppression operation. Over the following two days of aerial combat, the Israeli Air Force achieved a spectacular 82-0 kill ratio with F-15 and F-16 jets, providing the world with a vivid lesson in modern aerial warfare. In numerous Middle Eastern conflicts and countless Israel-Palestine confrontations, the Israeli Air Force has always delivered, being the first to retaliate against Syrian shelling on the Golan Heights, Hamas rocket launches, or Palestinian stone-throwing. Israel's reliance on its Air Force echoes America's dependence on aircraft carriers. In times of trouble, Israelis immediately think, where are our fighter jets? The Israeli army stands as one of the world's most mechanized and information-oriented ground forces. Not only vast in size, but it also boasts advanced technology, possessing over 3,600 tanks and more than 4,000 armored vehicles. It surpasses the land forces of Japan and South Korea and comes close to those of China and Russia, constituting one of the densest mobile steel defense lines worldwide, with few adversaries in the Middle East. The most advanced Merkava 4 main battle tank, weighing nearly 70 tons, equipped with a 120mm tank gun, boasts a unique saucer-shaped turret and wedge-shaped armor design, incorporating the Raphael-developed Trophy Active Protection System APS. This system effectively counters anti-tank missiles and RPG rocket launchers. The United States has also imported this system, fitting it into its latest M1A2 SEP V3 tanks. Many media outlets have hailed the Merkava 4-inch as the most survivable tank globally. Tanks commonly used in the Middle East, like the US-made M1A1 and Russian-made T-72-90, while slightly superior in maneuverability, fall short in firepower, protection, and information compared to the Merkava 4. Presently, the Israeli army comprises 126,000 regular troops and nearly 400,000 in the so-called framework units of reserve forces. These reserve units possess complete designations, formations, command, administrative, structures, and well-trained officer corps. Once a nationwide conscription order is issued, they can reach full operational capacity within days, expanding to a force of up to 500,000. For a nation with a population of fewer than 10 million, its army size exceeds 1 20th of the total population, making it a global leader in this regard. The Israeli Navy is relatively weaker, considering it's a small nation with a short coastline and no territorial or island sovereignty disputes. With minimal military pressure and the backing of the U.S. Navy, there's little necessity to develop a robust ocean-going fleet. The only noteworthy addition is the four Tsar-6 class corvettes, constructed by the German shipyard in Kiel starting in 2018 and completed by 2021. These ships, with a displacement of around 2,000 tons, replaced the outdated 1,200-ton Saar, minus five class corvettes in service for 20 years. The Saat AR-6 is currently the world's smallest Aegis-equipped ship. Though built in Germany, the ship's primary warning, control, and firepower systems are Israeli-made. It's equipped with EL-M2248 active electronically scanned array radars, similar to India's Navy's Kolkata, class destroyers, capable of automatic tracking of aircraft 250 km away and sea-skimming anti-ship missiles at 25 km. The vessel features a 32-cell vertical launch system with a maximum range of 70 km and altitude coverage of 16,000 meters, using the same Barak-8 medium-range surface-to-air missiles as the Kolkata class. Additionally, it's outfitted with a 24-cell, Sea Dome, Iron Dome naval version, defense system capable of intercepting short-range rockets and large-caliber shells at a maximum range of 70 kilometers in all weather conditions.
Furthermore, it carries 16 Gabriel V anti ship missiles, measuring 5.5 meters in length, weighing 1,250 kilograms, utilizing GPS slash INS and active radar guidance, with a maximum range exceeding 200 kilometers. The comprehensive combat capabilities of the 2,000 ton SAR 6 surpassed China's 4,000 ton Type 054A. Moreover, Israel possesses the Jericho, ballistic missiles capable of reaching 5,000 kilometers, some claim 8,000 kilometers, and launching nuclear warheads. The specific number of these missiles remains undisclosed. Leveraging its formidable long-range nuclear strike capabilities, Israel firmly holds strategic initiative, standing unrivaled and unchallenged a true hegemon in the Middle East. From a rational perspective, Israel outclasses Palestine in economics, technology, and military strength. In 2022, Israel's total GDP reached $522 billion, while Palestine stood at a mere $19.1 billion, representing a difference of over 27 times. Israel leads the Middle East in technological prowess, developing numerous high-performance weapons, including the Merkava main battle tank, Falcon early warning aircraft, Barak, air defense missiles, Iron Dome defense system, and Iron Beam laser weapons, many of which are exported to several countries. Although Israel might not be considered a military superpower globally, it's undoubtedly a hegemon in the Middle East, proven by five Middle East conflicts. Militants like Hamas hardly pose a threat to the Israeli military might.